All right, uh, advanced ferocity and plus frenzy skull. That's three mass frenzies. Advanced ferocity, war cry, endorphin cry, and blind rage. And I start off with the blind rage as well. This is not good. It's his priest too, which I know. Okay, so. Oops. I feel like in a game like this, I should probably try to let him take the point. Let's see what goes next. Okay, so we got Vibrant Pain. Okay. I'm going to actually get rid of that. Uh, let's see here. Kind of want to. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the card. Does it have any attack cards here? If so, either a block or another frenzy. We'll see. Cedric spell. Okay, so he's got vengeance. Okay, that's not good. Enforce dwarf, and I don't know what the other one was. Oh, paler. Okay, what's this guy? Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Sit back, relax, and let him move. That's honestly what I should be doing. So right here, I'm going to actually move my dwarf right here. So I have one vision for if he goes right here or here. I'm gonna do the same here. And keep less and defenders block. I'm not gonna hit. I'm not gonna use that immediately. Okay, so we got rid of ooh, evil bludgeon. He's got a lot of attack cards. This guy is well. He also has two warriors. So if I just run up there with my dwarf warrior, I'm gonna get screwed over because. Uh, he's probably definitely definitely has a vengeance card. I wouldn't doubt if he doesn't, then I'd be very surprised. Kind of want to keep both of these actually. Do a lot of damage. Yep. Look at that. There you go. Oh, he's got okay. Interesting. So yep. See here, brutal flail. So he's got yeah, super appealing. Hold on, boots. Okay. You draw a parry card. Good thing that I got rid of Blind Rage too. I wish I had drawn, drew, drew, drawn. I wish I had drawn another one, but I didn't draw a Mass Frenzy either. I'm gonna go ahead and I think I should play aggressively here now. Okay, so this is what I'll do. He might have so. Ooh, Quinn's Buckler, so he's got two extra dodge cards, and... Nice. Oh, I drew another parry card. Interesting. Ooh. Very nice. I also have two parries, so... Very interesting. Dwarf. He's gonna move up ahead. I will... Fortunate that the defender's block got rid of it. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack this guy here. Okay, got rid of his frenzy aura. Cool. I would have moved immediately with my dwarf, but or my wizard, to try to like get in there. Block first one. Okay, so he knows I have another parry. He could potentially have nimble strike here. What's all do? Hey hey. Ooh, pog. Oh. I'm going to. Uh, should I path of night this guy? I don't know, because I. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack this guy immediately. Ooh, another Koira. So, second frenzy aura. So, once I get rid of this, uh, he will no longer have any frenzy auras in his deck. Or from that item, at least. 
Mm, okay, so I figured. Um, kind of want to move my priest like over here, maybe. Kind of in like line of sight. Um. See. Doesn't really have okay. Doesn't really have that much utility just being that being that there, but whatever. I could put that there there. Um path of nice. I'm gonna So he does have superb impaling on both these guys, so it doesn't have any form cards. Um he does have Nightling, how many more turns? Okay, so three more turns. So it's gonna do five damage for sure. Unless he has any armor cards. This is actually bad because this paired up with Vengeance, he can just keep procking it over and over to like get free movement, although he comes at a cost of uh, dealing damage to him. Reinforced Dwarf, okay. I know, oh shoot, okay. Ooh. So he could have, he could have Crespin Shroud. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to stay put here for now. Okay, Vengeance. Oh, he could go behind me. That's the issue with Vengeance. Yeah. Sorry about that. Do you have Defender's Block? Nice. And... Nice. Nine piercing damage. Now he's kind of in a pickle with that guy. Thankfully, I did switch out my shield for Defenders or Aegis of the Defender. Pretty nice. Oh, boy. Actually, this is what I'll do. So, I could potentially do a lot of damage to this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Punishing Bolt, I think. Um. Because he, yeah. Um. He's probably gonna use his other cards. Yep. Uh, if I, like, if I start off with the other cards, then it's most likely. That he will uh, use those cards again. Actually, I'm going to run away. Bye bye. Sure long. Let's see here. Um, hmm, dwarf. Hello. Big damage. Sorry. You have parry too, so. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's got vengeance. I'm an idiot. Oh no! I'm going back here. Bye bye. I probably should have ran our way. Oh, no, that was my next distance. So, uh, if I attack him now, it's gonna proc wounded block. So, oh yeah, he's got. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oh no! Oh, I'm an idiot. This is what I'll do. What's he gonna do? Do 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 do. That was a mistake right there. Doing a lot. Oh, I got dealt a lot of damage to my warrior there. So move that guy over here or not? Okay, that works too. This guy over here gets some free health. Right now I am kind of in a good position. His two dwarf warriors are pretty low. He could draw a greater heal here. Um, I was able to uh, get full usage out of my um lost card though. He did draw or he did activate zombie form on me. Which sucks. Did get that Persian burst. What can we do here? So go and do that. Now, so I got it's a lot of. Uh, okay, so what can we do here? 
Do I move? Which one? That one. Oh! Actually, I probably should have moved this guy away instead, but... I think that works too. I don't know why I moved those priest for it, though. So I don't get. So I can do potentially six. Four, that's four. I can't kill this guy immediately, which sucks. Actually, I can. Five, because I do have Quorum Slash. He doesn't have, uh, Cost Fumble. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know what cards he has. I don't know what, uh. Okay. Ooh, actually, shoot. Man, I hate you. Reinforced Dwarf. Oh, Solid Wood. Okay. So, yeah. I got a 50 50 chance of this working. Yeah, it worked for him. Dang it. Oh well. He knows I have a parry card. Fortunately, I don't have another parry card. Can't move this guy, so I know. So, can't kill me with that guy. Oh, Krasman Shroud. No, didn't work. And what is that a card is? So play right here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Come on, cost fumble. Okay, so he's got uh, actually. So, right there, what I did. I've got a pretty high chance of him of blocking the Inquisitor Strike from this guy, but this guy is now dead. No matter what happens, I've also used Vanguard to move this guy over, so... Sorry. Yeah, dodge doesn't work. Oh, dodge doesn't matter, because he can move up there. He's dead. Nice. Uh, actually, this doesn't work now. He must be facing attacker. Yeah, rip. Yeah, just forgot about that. Bye-bye. Hmm. Well, that's alright, though. So, 19 health. Two more health. And I can get a free point here. So, another mistake there. Uh, whatever. Yeah, facing the attacker. That's a bad thing. So, these guys are pretty low. Ooh, three damage from poison, too. Ooh, I got melt armor. Nice. Sorry. Probably should have laid this down first, but I kind of want to see where he goes first. Like so. You can only move, what, two tiles? Right? No, oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Do that. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine flat. Oh, three damage onto this guy, too. Nice. If he doesn't do anything, then he's dead. Actually, he could just be dead here. Hang on if, if he has blocks or not. Oh, he's probably dead. Depending on what cards he has, he should die by Punishing Bolt. He doesn't have the armor cards, because he got rid of it. Nice. GG. Hey. If he a pretty strong player. Oh, I can't get that. Uh, I don't have max amounts of that. He got schooled. <laughs> uh, rest in pieces. Pog champ. <laughs> GG.